because this is something the NATO left will never acknowledge. And I want you guys to pay attention, okay? So we saw David Doe and them do videos praising AOC for ridiculous oh performance. <laughs> we have them doing video ridiculous uh, electoral politics focused videos all the time. One thing I have noticed uh, is that they never cover stories like these. We have another example of the United States blocking peace deals in Ukraine. So yeah. as I do the story, think about the Humanist Report, think about TYT, think about Voss, think about David Doe. Think about, will, will they cover this story? Will the NATO left cover the story I'm about to tell you guys right now, where you have the Israeli Prime Minister, uh, Natali Bennett, the unhinged Zionist fascist, who was like, how about we have a peace deal in Jerusalem? We bring the Russia together, we bring the Ukrainians together, and let's have peace. And the United States said, nah, we're not, we're not about to do that, bro. We're making money, son. We are weakening Russia. And they blocked another peace deal. This is the story. You have former Israeli Prime Minister Natali Bennett, the unhinged Zionist, who was telling the United States to chill the fuck out. <laughs> CJ, how crazy is that? You have Israel. <laughs> You have Israel bombing Syria. They're like, nigga, we, we, we bombing Syria. We supporting genocide in Yemen. We genocide the Palestinian people. Come on, can we focus? Can we get our head in the game? <laughs> this Israel, like, Israel been fighting them in terms of sending munitions to Ukraine. They're like, nigga, we, we got Syrians to bomb. We got Palestinians. We, we are doing, man. We got co colonial shit to do. Y'all focus about Ukrainians? So this is Natali Bennett saying... He admitted the United States blocked his attempts at a Russian-Ukraine peace deal. So he, there was an interview posted on YouTube channel. I'm going to show you guys exactly what he Crazy. said. He said that the United States and the Western allies blocked his efforts of mediating between Russia and Ukraine <laughs> to bring an end to the war. Will Matt Duff acknowledge this fact? Will TYT do a segment discussing this? Will the NATO left have a conversation about this. The question is no. I CJ, every time I, we do YouTube current statements, I would just be curious. I, I will see like it will Kyle Kalinsky cover it like this. They never do the, the video never drops. <laughs> this, when uh when it was exposed oh, okay. that Boris Johnson broke up the peace deal that was going on between in last summer between Zelensky, no one in the middle left covered it. So uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up, not because the channel is necessarily important. But it shows that they are they know they're wrong. You know what I mean? So if you're lying by omission, if you're not showing people this information, why are you hiding this? Do you think it will just prove your point? Matt, if Matt does, do you think this will just prove your point that the United States is working in good faith to protect the Ukrainian people? So I'm a I'll I'll read this because this is a y'all can speak it in a foreign language here. Um I'm assuming it's Israeli. So I'm going to just read this here. And he said, after talking with Putin, I flew to Germany because Germany and France are the main figures in Europe. See, this is the podcast. Is that? Yeah, I don't know what podcast that is. But uh, he said I was, uh, he flew to Germany and, and in order to reach an agreement, everyone should make an effort. I was making protocols on what happened. So then he said, and the next steps. The disagreements arose during the negotiations and what is required of everyone. There in Berlin, we are bringing the Americans, uh, Jake Sullivan, sometimes Blinken, sometimes Biden, and Emmanuel Macron, and Boris Johnson. Each leader has his own approach. You can divide the leaders into those who adhere to the line, we must fight back against Putin, and those who say there are losers in any war. So people who like, pro-war Russian hawks, and people say, oh, my God, you, we push this nuclear war. You guys need to relax, right? That way he's saying. Boris Johnson advocated for radical measures. You have Macron and Schultz from, from Germany who are more pragmatic, let's say. And Biden supported both approaches. But the West had decided it is necessary to continue to smash Putin. Um... Let's see, I'm gonna get to this part. Here we go.
I think this is the next part here. And not to negotiate. All my actions were coordinated to the smallest detail with the U United States, Germany, and French, and they broke off negotiations. He's saying how the United States, Germany, and France broke off negotiations. By and large, yes, they broke off negotiations. Well, no, the guy didn't ask. So he, he said the West broke off negotiations. Then the podcast will respond, oh, shit, what the fuck you just say? And then he said, yeah, they did break off negotiations. Then it seemed to me that they were wrong. I'm sure they had that we had a good chance of a uh, good chance of success if they haven't stopped trying. So what he's saying is that there's a faction that was like, how about we come to this peace agreement in Israel and Jerusalem? And then you had the board Johnson and you had Biden who was playing both sides who killed it. So this is something that you're not going to see acknowledged from the people who pretend that by sending unlimited arms to Ukraine, we're doing it to support the Ukrainian people. We're only doing it because there's no way you can negotiate with Russian Putin. You had over and over again Western leaders fighting any any chance for peace. Um, it, it's, there's also another quote. I'll say this in the broad sense. I think there was a legitimate discussion by the West to keep striking Putin and not negotiate. And it's going to be very interesting in the next coming years. And it's coming year because I think things are gonna get apparently there are a lot of talks of a, a giant Russian offensive and things are gonna get real get real in this summer. Uh, a lot of people on the Russian side not predicting it's gonna take the last that much longer. Uh, but you're gonna see a lot more people speak out against this. Like there was a story that we did uh a few weeks ago. We have uh Joseph Perel, that, that one yeah. EU guy who keeps saying. Why are we going to war with Ukraine here? <laughs> you get you getting more the cracks are starting to form where people are starting to uh blow the whistle on this kind of stuff, right? Uh negotiations between Russia and Ukraine didn't stop with B uh, B Bennett's efforts. Later in March, Russian and Ukrainian official officials met in Istanbul, Turkey, and followed up with virtual consultations. Um the negotiation and then they talk about how they had a uh, peace talks in Istanbul. And the, the negotiation failed after more Western pressure. Por Boris Johnson visited Kyiv in 2022 in order Jelinski not to negotiate with Russia. So we need the NATO left to explain why our Western leaders advocating against peace if they are against war. 